the Lord revealed to me something shocking that will happen in the Great Tribulation. I saw a vision of the rapture of the church. I saw the bride of Christ rising in the air, those who were caught up in the air went out of my view until they disappeared completely from the atmosphere. As I was watching this, immediately an alien invasion began. It seemed to be prepared in advance for this precise moment. I had the impression that the enemy planned this invasion to happen in the aftermath of the rapture. When this invasion happened, the Lord said, all these beings are real, and they are demons. I started to look at them. They were thousands of their ships in the air, as they began to appear in space, I saw that they were perhaps millions of extraterrestrial ships of all sizes, everything was ready and prepared by the enemy for this moment of the great tribulation. Brother, the Lord led me to the future and I was amazed how these ships were dropping millions of lights falling to earth. The things that will happen in the Great Tribulation are terrible. Terrible is the key word. Revelation 613-14, And the stars of heaven fell to the earth, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. I saw the ships passing through the atmosphere. It was as if the stars were falling. I was looking up into the air when suddenly I saw the heavens that were opening. There were gigantic portals. I watched the portals opening in various countries. I watched with a lot of attention a portal opening in Egypt. It was opened in the pyramids. Another portal was opened in Peru. Another portal was opened in the area 51 Nevada and even in Mexico. Another portal opened in Alaska. Another portal was opened in Antarctica. Another portal was opened in the Amazon in Brazil. Another portal opened in the sea, specifically in the Bermuda Triangle and in the country of Chile and in several countries precisely in the peaks of mountains. It seems that everything was already prepared for the manifestation of the Antichrist. I saw ships full of demons chasing human beings. At that time I saw global persecution. Then I saw people running through rivers and lakes, they were chased down in the fields and the mountains. These ships followed and tracked them. This happened in every country in the world. And when I looked in the sky, I saw helicopters, planes, and extraterrestrial ships. After that, I saw how the world was preparing and gearing for war. Demons and fallen angels were preparing the last battle in their various outposts in many planets, starting by the moon where they were housed in caves. When I went up in the spirit, I saw that many ships were still arriving and they sounded like the propellers of an airplane, and more and more ships appeared and they were preparing to descend to earth. All the planets were contaminated. Ships were leaving and heading for earth from Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and all the planets. Demons were coming out of their caves. This is hard for me to tell. But you know in the book of Daniel, there was a principality that was stalling the fulfillment of Daniel's prayer. We saw that it was the Prince of Persia. Another one of those principalities was Nimrod that appears in Genesis. His name means Great Hunter. That's another demon preparing warriors up in the air. At that time, the Antichrist gave the order to the armies and the rulers of the earth. Among them was Russia, Japan, Korea, USA, China, Germany. Most were possessed. I saw that the Antichrist gave the order to gather the troops, and I could see Satan, the false prophet, and the Antichrist. They made fun of the human world. It was a very traumatic moment for the earth and the people. I know it sounds crazy, but it's all written in Revelation 16 12-14, and the sixth angel poured out his vial on the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. 13 And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth to the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Revelation 19:17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the middle of heaven, 
come and gather yourselves together to the supper of the great God. Over here we are dealing with the last year of the Antichrist, for there was already chaos over the world because of wormwood. Revelation 8 10 to 11, and the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell on the third part of the rivers, and on the fountains of waters, 11 and the name of the star is called wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. This is the last part of the great battle of the great tribulation. Here Jesus warns about what's coming in the scriptures. Now imagine all the armies of the earth plus the thousands and millions of demons against the people of Israel to exterminate their land. I mean, it will be one of the biggest battles in the history of the spiritual world and of the physical world. The number of armies and riders was 200 million. Now put this number with all the third part of the stars of heaven, the fallen angels. It is written in Revelation 12:4, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. Now comes something supernatural that the Lord revealed to me. I really want to get your full attention. I didn't ask for this. It was God who taught me. On one of those occasions, I was on earth. Soon those spaceships were starting to come down. These ships were not scary. They were beautiful and it looked like the ships that appeared in the sky were coming from the northern side. Remember the sides of the north are the kingdom of God in heaven. However, we are talking about our solar system from the northern part. I was watching these ships as they started coming down to where I was. I began to rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. One of them stopped in the air and turned. It was blue, red, white. It was very beautiful. It was also round, but when I rebuked this ship, it moved and approached me. And then the gate began to open. When the door opened, this being began to descend. I faithfully rebuked him in the name of Jesus Christ, but nothing happened. I told myself they are not responding to the name of Jesus and nothing is happening. And to my surprise, these beings were humans like us. I told them to get out of here in the name of Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ's name didn't hurt them. Then he started calling the other ones that came in these other ships and many of these creatures began to go down. They were all human beings, but I saw that they were like angels, they had beautiful faces. And at that moment came the voice of the Holy Spirit. He told me, so many on earth do not know, but this has been revealed in these final times. Isaiah 13 5-7, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord, and the weapons of his indignation, to destroy the whole land. Howl you, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. They are the instruments of anger that were prepared by God. God created the planets and they are the ones that come from faraway lands, from distant planets in the time of the battle of the great tribulation. They will join the battle against the enemies who fight against the people of God, against Jesus Christ and his angels and his horse riders and the saints. The army of God is going to defend the people of Israel. God is a tremendous God for he has hidden things from the wise and he has revealed them to us little ones. Revelation 19 13-15, And he was clothed with a clothing dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him on white horses, clothed in fine linen, white, and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Let us pray for what is coming after the rapture, more so we should pray to be lifted up at the sound of the trumpet when the rapture finally occurs. God bless you.